Oh my goodness, we're back again for another exciting spin of the Plate of Pot. Oh, here we go. Come on. Nukin? <laughs> Give me the Nukin. Oh my god, Delta 9 is back. They're coming back. They're, they're trying to get out of the penalty box, Delta 9. Here it is, Delta 9, white out. This is uh, at 19% or 190 milligrams per gram. Um, package date, we've got December the 17th. That's all right. And this is Delta 9. They're back. They were in the penalty box because I don't know if you've seen my other videos, but when Delta 9 first showed up on OCS, I removed or I, I tried all of them and they were all underweight, all three of them. So that was three strikes and they got sent to the penalty box and they've been sitting in there ever since. And now they're trying to come out. So let's, uh, let's see how they'll do here. It's been, it's been like three or four months, you know, so that's a good amount of time for them to get their shit figured out. And we'll see if they did or not. So we're just going to first check the scale and make sure it's properly calibrated. So we got a 50.00 gram weight right there. Just check the old scale. Looks perfect. Perfect. All right. Zero it out. We're good. It's white out time from Delta 9. And this stuff, I think this stuff on OCS goes for 23 bucks or something like that for 3.5. So it's not super expensive. They have another one on there. I forget what it's called. 24 karat gold or something. Uh... Or does that? Maybe that's an amazed. Maybe it's an amazed. I don't remember. Anyways, here we go. You know, I haven't had one of these types of containers in forever. Oh, there we go. Cool. Got a nice smell. Kind of like a fruity kind of sort of earthy, berry-ish kind of a smell. Kind of nice. I'm surprised that there's a smell in there. <laughs> Anyways, let's check the weight here. It looks looks okay. But just from looking right here, it looks okay. But here we go. Let's check the weight. <gasps> Delta 9. You've done it. You fixed your machines. Shout out to Delta 9 Daniel for uh he said that they were gonna do that and uh looks good here. So awesome. But yeah, I'm happy. That's great. So we've got all kinds of little buds here. Not, you know, it's little tiny guys. Here's a, a small one, but you know, whatever. They look okay from just looking at them. And uh, let's see, it's not, not extremely dry. It's dry, but it's not at the dust point. It's just at the, uh, it's at the nice, you can easily nicely break this up with your hands and your fingers, I think, this stuff here. Sometimes uh, stuff is so sticky you can't, but this stuff here, I'm pretty sure you could, but let's check it out with the uh, microscope first. Here's the outside of the Delta 9 Whiteout, or, yeah, Whiteout, they call it. If you're wondering what Whiteout is, it's White Widow. The uh, name of the actual strain, I looked it up, it's White Widow. So, it's actually been a while since I had any White Widow. White Widow. Um, I used to like that one a lot back in the day. Look at this. This looks fucking awesome right here. Holy shit. That looks good. Yeah, look at that. Some big, chunky trichomes here. Nice, cloudy, chunky trichomes all right there. Look at that. And I like the purples in this. Nice purples. Always like a nice purple. See, there's the there's what I'm talking about. This chunky trichome. See, right in the very top there, the very top. That's kind of what they look like a lot. Wow, look at this section. This is on another little tiny little bud here. Fuck, look at that. That is so cool. Look at these nice colors too. So awesome. There are some missing trichome heads, obviously, but I mean, this looks. Pretty damn good for Delta 9. Look right there. I love the looks of the uh, trichomes on the purple. It's always so awesome looking. <gasps> this is more up here. Look at this. <gasps> oh my goodness. There's a really close, really close up. Some trichomes and some purple. Oh, that looks so awesome right there. I wish I could just lie down on that. Like it was if I had a bed made out of that or carpet. I would lie on that carpet all day. Well, I gotta say, this is looking much better than uh, than that other stuff there. And it, the proper weight, that's really what, I think the last time it was really the weight. It was always being underweight. That was the main, main problem with the stuff last time. The stuff was okay some of the times, but it was always underweight. But anyways, yeah, so that's cool. Um, 
I guess let's bust one of these open. Why not? They're not that big, but let's check it out in anyways. We'll open this. Here's a look at the inside. I, I really like that light pinkish purple color. That's so cool. Got some clear ones in here. Look at that. They're real shiny. See how shiny they are? But there's also cloudy ones in here. Like right there. They don't look super chunked out like those other ones. Oh, wow. Look at that. Super crisp. <laughs> Lots of detail there. But yeah, look at that. Wait, maybe I'll stop moving this around. There. There we go. That's nice. That's the inside. Looks good. Anyways, you know what? I'm going to try some of this and I'll be right back. So I just got in from this whiteout from Delta 9 at 19% or 190 milligrams per gram. And uh, this stuff here is actually pretty all right. It's not bad. There's a bit of flavor here too, which is kind of cool. It's a nice flavor, but this, it doesn't last long. It's kind of like sort of like an earthy or like soil kind of like dirt like soil <laughs> it's kind of in a good way though it's like that kind of mixed with um it kind of makes me think of like the lumber store or something like uh i don't know if it's a type of wood or or something that that would be in there but it reminds me of like walking through lumber store and then when you get towards the end uh like in towards the end of the bowl there um, there was sort of another flavor I noticed, which was really neat. I don't know what it was, though. At the, at the beginning, when you get that sort of dirt flavor, or that, that <laughs> earthy flavor, it's uh, it, it almost has like a little, like a hint of a something sweet there. I don't know what, but something. Um, it's alright. I wish the flavor lasted longer, because it's, it's an enjoyable flavor. It's very nice. In an, in an unusual way. But, um, yeah, it's alright. The high on here is kind of... I'd say it's a medium, or maybe slightly above a medium. And it's sort of, it's kind of like an energy, like I got a bit of energy and stuff, but at the same time, I don't really feel clear headed or anything. I kind of feel a bit hazy. Yeah, I guess maybe it'd be all right for watching TV or something. That's what I'm going to go do is watch some TV. <laughs> um, yeah. So for 24 bucks, um, I don't know, would I buy this again? Yeah, maybe. It's actually all right. Uh, I think I like this more than all the other ones I tried of Delta 9, so this is probably the best one yet. And it's, um, it's okay. It's a nice above medium sort of buzz. And yeah, 24 bucks. I, I don't mind it. I, I would buy it again, maybe. Um, you know, it all depends what's available, I guess. <laughs> I'd rather buy other things, but, you know, I'm not against buying this again. This is all right. Yeah, anyways, that's uh, Delta 9 Whiteout. It's all right. <laughs> anyways, there's four more things on the uh, plate of pot, so come check them out. Hit that subscribe button and the notification bell so you get a message when the next video goes up. And um, that's it for now, so have a good one. We'll see you later.